We've been talking lately about guest blogging and how it's a great way to use existing successful blogs to promote your own products and services. While it takes a little work building relationships with well-known bloggers, once you put in the groundwork, it can really pay off. It's always a good idea to have your guest blogging content ready to go. Or you could present related content you've written as guest blogs for other bloggers. At the very least, you should be able to provide a detailed outline about what you plan to write about in your guest blog. If you have a guest blog already written specifically for them, you can submit it to the blogger and ask if they'd be willing to publish it on their blog as a guest blog. Let them know that you're open to suggestions and are willing to make any changes, additions, or edits that they would like. Even an outline that includes a headline, some subheads, and a few key points that you would like to include in your guest blog will be helpful in getting them to understand what your guest blog is going to look like. The better the blogger understands what you're going to provide, the better prepared they'll be to make a decision whether or not to allow you to submit a guest blog. If you approach them with only a broad topic or an idea that has not yet been fully developed, they will be more likely to turn down your offer. You need to portray yourself as an expert in your niche. If you have been able to build a brand around yourself or are well known within your niche's community, Hopefully your reputation may have preceded you. If the blogger already is aware of who you are and is impressed by your credentials, they're going to be very likely to accept your offer. If they aren't yet familiar with you, don't be shy about tooting your own horn a little. The more information you can provide about your expertise, the more likely they will be to publish your guest blog. Mention any rewards or recognition you have received. Point out your past successes. Include links to some of your most successful postings. Anything you can do to sell yourself will improve your chances of having your guest blog invitation accepted. In many cases, a blogger will be more open to the idea of publishing your guest blog if the offer comes with an invitation to reciprocate. If you have your own blog, you can ask if they'd be willing to write a guest blog on your site in exchange for allowing you to write one for theirs. You could even propose that the exchange of guest blogs be a trial for a longer relationship of guest blogging. In many cases, if you emphasize the long-term benefits of reciprocal guest blogging, bloggers will be more open to the idea. Usually, if you lay out all the benefits and have taken the time to read their blog, leave comments, provide social approval, and interact with them in a supportive and mutually beneficial way, the bloggers you approach will happily allow you to submit a guest blog to their pages. Occasionally, however, you may encounter somebody who is reluctant to give you access to the pool of readers they've worked so hard to nurture. When this happens, it's not the end of the world. Think of it more as an opportunity than as a setback. Make sure you thank them for their consideration and let them know the offer is open-ended, so if they change their mind at any point in the future, you're more than willing to submit a guest blog. You should never take rejection personally. People have all sorts of motivations for being protective of their blog, most of which has nothing to do with you. I hope you enjoy what you learned today. Check back weekly for updated videos and lessons, or better yet, Click the subscribe button below to get more of these educational videos as they come out.